Welcome to Studio 21. I'm Doug Price, the Dean of Global Education at Tulsa Community College. And today I have a great uh, honor to uh, introduce the Dean of Sana'a Community College from the Republic of Yemen, Dr. Nabil al Sahibi. So welcome. And um, I think I'm just going to stay with Nabil, if that's okay. Did I do okay with your name? Uh, pronouncing? Yeah, you did very well. Did very well. Yes, <laughs> thank, yes. thank you very much. Um, I think today, instead of just a more of a formal interview, we'll have more of a conversation and just talk about various things. And people who are watching this might be uh, wondering, you know, why we're sitting here on Studio 21 having this conversation. So what I thought I might do is introduce the uh, the planning grant that we earned, and then we can just kind of talk a little bit about that. And I thought I might ask some questions about Sanaa Community College, you know, the difference, and you've had a chance to visit Tulsa Community College, and maybe you could share some of the differences there. and and all that. Um, basically, um, we're here under the auspices of a higher education development grant, and uh, that's also in partnership with the United States um, Aid for International Development, U.S. Aid, and uh, several uh, Middle Eastern countries and community colleges in the United States have been awarded $60,000 planning grants to form partnerships to, to write uh, entrepreneurship curriculum for community colleges, technical colleges, in the Middle East. And the, the project is called Bamina, which is broader, Middle Eastern, Northern Africa. And uh, what I thought maybe is to ask what you think about this and what it might mean for the development of uh, Sanaa. And uh, we'll start with that. Thank you. Uh, glad to be here. Basically, the, uh, the, the, the visit is a result of uh, about two years ago, the U.S. Department of State uh, started an initiative in the Bimna, Bimna region. Bimna is broader Middle East and North Africa to establish relationship between the U.S. and the, uh, you know, the, 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 the countries mentioned. Mm -hmm. So two, two years ago, they, they had a workshop in Amman, Jordan, regarding the entrepreneurship program. And as a result, Sana'a Community College was, was there. We attended the, the workshop. And after that, last year, we joined CCID which is this Community College for International Development, to start the partnership. So this year, we, uh, as, as you mentioned, we, uh, we won the grant mm -hmm. between Sana'a Community College and Tulsa Community College and Eastern Iowa District mm -hmm. for community colleges there. And basically for six months, the first six months is to, to write a, a longer proposal for three years. So basically, this uh, by the June of, of 2011, we have to do the uh, the proposal for the next three years. Okay. The program will do, will we will we develop a curriculum for the three campuses or for the three colleges to design a curriculum for entrepreneurship, and that will help economically the government of Yemen. So basically, we're going to develop the the curriculum and. We are in the process of, of writing the proposal right now and finalize it by, by June 2011. And, and part of the, the funding pays for the opportunity for um, you and your colleagues to visit the United States. And uh, we met in New Orleans for a planning session for all of the, the partners, which are from Jordan, uh, Morocco, Bahrain, and, and Yemen. And uh, we had a great planning session there. And then from there, you went on to Muscatine Community College, which is part of the Eastern Iowa Community College District, and then out to uh, Oklahoma. Yes, basically, uh, we started with the BIMNA, mm -hmm. those projects from the Middle East. There are 10 projects, as you mentioned, from Lebanon, Bahrain, uh, Jordan, and Morocco, and Yemen. We started with the BIMNA workshop. Then we went to the AACC uh, conference yes. in New Orleans. Then part of, the, uh, of writing the proposal is for the, you know, for the three parties to visit each other. So basically the Yemenis have, have to come to, uh, to the U.S. to, to visit uh, Iowa, to visit the Muscatine Community College and Tulsa Community College. Uh, during this visit, we, uh, we do some uh, interviews with, uh, with the business people, with, uh, with the staff of the college and with the Chamber of Commerce. And we do it here and the U.S. representatives from both colleges, they have to do the same thing in Yemen. Mm -hmm. In that way, we have a good understanding of, of the whole environment. When we design the curriculum, at least we visited all, uh, all parties uh, concerned with the, with the curriculum. 
Let me let me read a quote from uh, Dr. Tully Cornick. He is the uh, the executive director of Higher Education Development, or HED. And let, let me read this, and I'll, I'll uh, do a follow up question. It says. Partnering U.S. community colleges with technical and vocational institutions in the Bamina region will provide a valuable model of successful workforce and entrepreneurship development. Uh, HED is pleased to support an initiative that will improve the capacity of the Bamina institutions to contribute to national economic growth by preparing graduates to start their own small businesses, create new jobs, and fill positions in growth sectors. Uh, many of us uh, here in the United States watch news about the uh, situation in Yemen and we've become more familiar with Sana'a and, and we, we hear these words now in our news and uh, but may not be under positive terms but yet this is a very positive model to really help that area of the world grow. Do you see this project being of value to this area and it will be successful? Uh, definitely. Yeah. Definitely, it's gonna it's gonna help a lot. If if we you know follow the news these days, and not mm -hmm. just in Yemen, in the whole region of the Middle East, basically uh, uh, a lot of growth in population, and there are uh, no opportunities for jobs. So anything that will help employ the young generation will help a lot. Mm -hmm. Will will uh, will help them economically and will uh, stabilize. The, you know the situation in the Middle East. So, so one of the issues facing the the, the Sanaa area, the region uh, in Yemen, um, where your institution is, is there, there's many graduates from high school, but only the colleges accept so many students in. So there's this large group of people who have nowhere to go. So this will help, to some degree, these individuals obtain new skills and develop businesses and and help the economy. Uh, definitely. Okay. I mean, uh, most graduate depends on uh, on jobs, you know, government jobs. Mm -hmm. So by nature, you know, the Yemenis people used to be traders in the, in the past. But that mentality has changed. So we want to bring that mentality back, you know, to life uh, because, you know, once they, they can develop, you know, their small business uh, mm -hmm. initiative, I think it's going to help them a lot. And we try to change the mentality. And instead of depending on the government to give you a job, why don't you have your own job and employ other people? And I think that, mm -hmm. you know, that will help the, you know, young people in the country a lot. Tell us a little bit about Sanaa Community College. Well, Sanaa Community College is, is the oldest community college in, in, in Yemen. And when we say the oldest, I'm talking about Yemen. Okay. I mean, the, the, the concept of community college was, uh, was brought from the U.S. Basically, the World Bank helped the Yemeni's government to, to establish the community college there. So Sana Community College is the largest and the oldest community college. Uh, it started in 1998, and uh, so basically almost 13 years now. It has about 1,600 students. We have three programs, three different programs in Sana Community College. Basically, the, the, the diploma program which is three years. And we started two years ago uh, a bachelor, applied bachelor, mm. with the help uh, from the Dutch government. And this year we established the Sana'a Community Center for short courses. So basically we, in, 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 the, in the applied bachelor we have two, two majors, which is MIS and uh, networking. And we have about 11 uh, different programs in, in the three-year program. So as dean of the college, that sounds like a very impressive position to hold. What, on a, on a daily basis, what does the Dean of Sana'a Community College do? On a daily basis, we have to uh, set up, you know, the vision for the college, like uh, in partnership with the U.S., for example. We uh, established the, uh, the partnership with, C with CCID, and now with, with this grant, we established the partnership with the, with the German government represented by GZD, uh, GIZ, and with the uh, person uh, from, from the UK. So besides overseeing every activities in the college, we tend to look for the long-term plan. What is there, you know, for the college in, in five or ten years from now? And we're uh, working hard to internationalize the, the you know, Sana'a Community College. So from two years back until now, I mean, we, we are, I would say, in a very good position internationally. 
What, uh, you visited Muscatine Community College and now Tulsa Community College, and I know that you return to, uh, to Yemen tomorrow. What, um, what has been the most outstanding observation you maybe made about our community college system here in the United States? I think the most impressive thing is the infrastructure. When I said Sana'a Community College is the oldest, uh, we're not as close as, you know, having the infrastructure here in the U.S. It's very impressive because, uh, like, Muscatine Community College started in 1929. Mm. So that's, that's been a long time. So when you have that, that length of time, you established a very good, you know, infrastructure and from all aspects. In Yemen, we need to do that. Mm. Okay. So that's the most uh, outstanding thing I, I have came up Well, I know that on behalf of uh, Dr. Jeremy Pickard at Muscatine Community College and myself as your co new colleagues that we look forward to working with you and helping to develop this infrastructure and the entrepreneurship curriculum that all of us will share. Uh, maybe the, the last question I'd like to ask, and we, I know we've talked about this as we've toured the city of Tulsa in our, in our institution, Tulsa Community College, um, you've uh, experienced some, uh, some, some snow. Actually, back in New Orleans, it was nice and warm and a little humid. And when you went up to Iowa, you had uh, experienced snow. And then you come out here in a beautiful weather day when you came. But then all of a sudden, we've had this monsoon season, three or four days of rain, and hopefully with some blue skies in sight. But uh, tell us about the, the climate and the weather just for a minute uh, in Sanaa. Because if I remember right, it's uh, very appealing. Yeah, actually, in Sanaa, it's, it's, it's very nice, the weather in Sanaa. In country, you know, if you go to the Gulf states, it's very hot. But in Sanaa, it's, it's very, it's very pleasant. Usually, it tend to be, you know, sunny during the day and, you know, like not, not too chilly during the night. And it's funny when, when we first came to Iowa, as you mentioned, it was a sunny day. Mm -hmm. But from the second day on, it was like freezing. Same thing when I got to uh, Tulsa. <laughs> it was, you know, first day was good. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's nice. Well, thank you for taking time for this, uh, this brief interview. It's been a pleasure. I look forward to working with you, uh, Nabil, in the future. Uh, thank you for joining us on Studio 21. Again, I'm Doug Price, the Dean of Global Education at Tulsa Community College. Thank you.